Hello everyone, I'm Carmen Rogers with Tallapoosa Publishers. I'm here with Mayor Johnny Hammock. This is a special edition of Monday with the Mayor on a Tuesday. And um, we had some technical difficulties yesterday, yeah. so we're doing a retake today and hopefully everything's gonna work out great. And um, our topic today is actually Last Wednesday, we had some special visitors here in town. Mm -hmm. um, the Public Service Commission President, Twinkle Cavanaugh, yes. and State Rep Representative Ed Oliver. They were yes. both here in Tallahassee. That's right. Can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about that visit? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so basically, we kicked off our uh, cast iron gas line replacement uh, in our worst uh, area for his leaks, uh, which goes right above Hilltop Grocery, all the way down to the Apple Grove subdivision bridge right there by Brit Bed Marion. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is 5,300 feet. Uh, that is pretty much one linear mile. Mm -hmm. uh, price tag on that went uh, for $221,000 and some change. Uh, the lowest bid, thank goodness, was a local company, HDD, Larry Rogers' company. Um, so you'll see them out on the side of the road probably for the next two months doing that. What they do is a directional bore. Mm -hmm. uh, and with it being on the state right away, we have to go a little bit deeper. Uh, Alabama Department of Transportation requires to be five feet down on the right away, so we're having the directional bore five feet up under the ground, and then they'll put in the new piping, the new plastic pipe. Um, Tallahassee has about 30 miles of cast iron gas line, so this is taking out one mile of it. So if you put a price tag of replacing it all at one time, you're looking at right now in today's dollars, six and a half million dollars. Wow. So this is the first leg of it. Um, and the Public Service Commission really wants the cast iron out of uh, the ground and the plastic put in. So we're just trying to get into compliance here. And um, I wanted to invite uh, PSC President Twinkle Cavanaugh and her staff, Wallace Jones and them, over and uh, take a look at the work that we're doing. And I invited Ed Oliver, who's the state representative on the Tallapoosa County side where the work is going on. And uh, he was here along with myself. You were there, uh, Tallahassee Times was there. Uh, we had uh, some other visitors from CDG Engineering that I work closely with. The city of Tallahassee contracts out with CDG Engineering. Mm -hmm. Jeff Harrison, his office is in Auburn. Uh, their home office is in Andalusia. And that's why we went with CDG, this administration, because we knew we were facing a lot of infrastructure um, problems with the sewer uh, plant that we were gonna have to build and cast iron gas lines and uh, water lines and things like that. So CDG, that's kind of their specialty. It's infrastructure under the ground with utilities like that. So uh, uh, they've been doing a real good job for us. So I was excited. Uh, we had them, they came around, we went, up there to the site where Larry Rogers' team was working. Mm -hmm. um, she met all those uh, guys out there working in the hot sun. She went in the Hilltop Grocery, talked to some customers and stuff. And then we took her to da downtown, which that'll be our next uh, gas line replacement. We'll also be re replacing uh, the water lines in downtown as well. And probably a, a sewer line replacement or what's called cured in pipe pl uh, placement uh, sip, uh, which that's where we put a bladder in, blow it up inside the existing sewer line that has cracks and kind of blow this kind of, it's kind of like a hardening type material and it goes and it makes a pipe inside of a pipe. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it to you in layman's terms, but uh, that's then they deflate the bladder and pull it out. So. Sounds like that would be a little more cost effective. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. That's when we, you know, when we got the uh, city block development grant for East Tallahassee uh, back at the end of 2016. We did that in 2017 uh, over in East Tallahassee. So, at the sewer plant project that we're about to do, a 4.8 million dollar price tag. 1.1 million of that is uh, sewer line rehab. We have so much uh, cracked sewer lines. We have so much I and I groundwater infiltration going in. We need to shore that up. So. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, Tallahassee's infrastructure is definitely yeah. a work in progress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So when I took her around downtown, I was also talking to her about the TAPS grant mm -hmm. and the utility line replacement down there. I took her into District 19. She met Kim Stackhouse, and she loved that store. My wife that works down there at her business was taking out the trash. She got to meet my wife and kind of told her the story how Urban Tales was moving. We just bought a uh, building in historic downtown and she wanted to go see that and went over there and showed her that she met some of the guys we have the contractors in there working so it was a great visit and then we kind of split up uh, her and her team went to cafe 1220 and uh, ate there and uh, 
Ed Oliver, he, he wanted to eat some good old country food from Larry Melvin, so. It's the best of both worlds. Yeah, so <laughs> I went with Ed and uh, the two engineers from CDG, and we went there and uh, ate at Larry Melvin's, and it was packed that day. Oh, yeah. It was on oh, a yeah. Wednesday, and uh, you get those chicken dumplings as a, as a side, and uh, man, those uh, those people, they, you know, they remember the hotel towel, exactly. and the food, uh, yeah. Larry and his wife, and it's a family business up there, and you know, uh, my wife, you know, we, we try to say, hey, we need to eat at home more and save some money. But you know, at lunchtime we're so busy. If I'm, uh, if I'm gonna go out, I try to sp spread the love and go to Twelve Twenty, Larry Melvin's, Rustic Mill, American Deli, Acapulco. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to, you know, cause I try to mix it up a little bit, but. I tell you what, uh, a lot of days I just eat, eat at my desk in there, you know, <laughs> but um, anyway. It's busy. I That's know, right. and you are absolutely right about uh, Larry Melvin's. It, it <laughs> is, when you walk in, it's family atmosphere. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. you feel at home. They do, they do they a do. good job. They do yeah. a good job. So does Noah. You go up there and you see Noah and Pam yeah. working, Noah's mother working. You're uh, very right. It, it's yes. a, you know, and, and we, <laughs> you know, we, you know, I try to preach to everybody that's shop local and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people want to get out of town on the weekends and try something different, but uh, if you can, try to buy local as much as you can, yeah. shop local as much as you can. We have a lot of hidden treasures here in yeah, Tallahassee. Yeah, we sure do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up this right, week. We'll you. be back here again next week, and uh, we hope you'll join us again. Right. Thank Thanks. you, and have a great day. All right.